Savage here, and today I decided to do some fan art of a character I can no longer stand. Why am I doing fan art of a character I can't stand? Because I used to love her, supposedly. <laughs> used to. Used to. I stress this. I stress this. Just like most people that get into the Naruto series starting off, at, it's usually one at a young age, and two, it's usually your first anime series. And believe it or not, every now and then there's one stupid person, just like me, who, I don't know, feels a connection with Sakura and just, through pure stubbornness alone, sticks to this character for no freaking reason and becomes a white knight until, at the end of the series, they throw the armor down, they cast away the sword, and they give the fuck up. <laughs> All their hopes and dreams for this character just dies. So when people say, if uh, Sak if there's any Sakura fans, technically yes. They're constantly born every time someone watches a Naruto series. They just die by the time they reach the end. Very quickly, sometimes before that. <laughs> but you can't say they aren't any because um, hentai, doujins, and fan art prove otherwise. Whether there's actually true fans, I doubt it. So it's a yes or no kind of situation. Um, I thought it'd be cool throughout this video if I gave my two cents of why personally I thought Sakura could have been a good character. What could have made her an awesome character. And then complain about how terrible she is. <laughs> okay, so you're probably thinking there's no way Sakura had could ever be a good character. She's just terrible. And I kind of agree with you, but uh, in some way that she is, yes, completely terrible. However, I believe she had the characteristics and the setup to be a decent character, at least in the beginning. However, everything went downhill as soon as, you know, the series took off past the first couple episodes. Um, <laughs> at least with the first couple episodes she was in. I, it's been a minute since I've seen Naruto, mind you. Um... Going off some of her basic characteristics, she stands out simply because one, in her group alone, she's the only one with parents. Uh, two, she has no special abilities, no animals aiding her, no um, skill sets that are passed down, no sensei, doesn't even have anybody she aspires to be like, like um, Tintin was. So she she's pretty much just there because of her crush on Sasuke, which is sad, and it's just one of the many reasons people can't stand her, because of her simping. That to the side, if you look at that, that's actually a, a neat setup for a character to stand out so much, and plus she's one of the main three characters, supposedly. And when you also group her with two extremely powerful characters, such as Sasuke and Naruto, she stands out just by being a normal person. She would be more relatable, or should be more relatable, to the audience that is watching. And on top of that is the fact that she has parents. And just like any kid who has parents, there's going to be disagreements. There's going to be times where uh, you want to brag or maybe you're happy or things go on in your family life that she can't really share with her teammates and it'd be cool to see her slip up or make a mistake and maybe say something stupid like in the beginning of the series with Naruto but learn from it and correct herself but you never see that instead it's just like oh no I'm gonna go complain to Sasuke and then Sasuke gets mad because he's also an orphan he understands what Naruto's going through and she don't understand why and now you're just sitting there like are you stupid <laughs> and that goes into another thing and another characteristic about her is that supposedly she's book smart and she's aware or at least if you're smart I'd like to think you're aware You'd think, you know, especially if you're crushing on somebody for so long you'd know when their entire family dies and why they wouldn't like you, you know, trash talking about being a terrible person just because you don't have parents. I, I don't know. I just, simple, you know, thought process there. And she's supposedly smart. I don't see it, though. It's, 
It's just like it's a claim that's stated and only used in convenience with the storyline, but never shown in action, which is disappointing because it would have been cool to see this character use her head. <laughs> Um, for instance, in, like, the exam, like, that big arc when she, like, cuts her hair and it's, it's a special moment because she did it for Sasuke. Ah, yes. Ah. But, like, um, no, it was really stupid. She didn't attack the enemy. So it would have been better, two for one, make her look badass, have her realize, hey, if I cut this person at this point in their leg, they can't attack. And then she cuts her hair, and then I think after that, she runs up, hugs up Sasuke, so he stops, you know, tearing the limbs off another guy. So, you know, that would have been more badass, okay? She would have attacked the enemy and looked useful. She would have used her head and um, still had the same effect, but no, we didn't get that. It would also have been cool because, again, I know book smarts aren't everything, especially in the field, but it'd be cool is to see her focus on her studies and actually try to use that while in the field. There's always this constant battle of her feeling behind and being weak, but at the same time, it's like she's not doing anything. So it would have been cool if, like, saying during that, um, that one arc, when they're doing the bridge, they have the bridge mission, and, you know, they're getting attacked by, I think he's an assassin. I can't remember his name. There's too many characters. I'm bad at names. Okay, guys? But you know what I'm talking about. There's the assassin, and she's freaking out, being whiny, and the most annoying person ever, and does literally nothing. It would have been cool, again, to see her use her head, and maybe, like, explain what she's seeing and realizing, oh, I've seen this before in my books, or, oh, I know what that is. Oh, guys, try using this. Why don't you do this? It would have been nice to have her, like, some leadership without actually being a leader. Even if she didn't have the strength, have the means to say, to realize her teammate's strength and utilize it. You know? Because she already is aware she's weak. She's already aware they're strong. So it would have been cool to see her utilize it. Even if it wasn't in that series. Because it was like a first big scary mission. To see that later on. As a, as a sign of an, a development of the character. But you don't see that. For the first 300. I think 3. I, I think it's 300. It might be 600. I don't know. Naruto's a long series. For this th the first part of the whole Naruto series, it's like two parts, she's completely useless. And supposedly, again, I, she's smart. <laughs> but you don't ever play it out, and it's really annoying. Another thing that would have been awesome to see. Um, <laughs> I've been cool af after the tuning exams, after seeing all the horrible things that happened to Sasuke because of the curse mark, if you just see her like devoted a cage, it doesn't even have to be like a whole episode, it could be just a scene of her like every now and then popping up, of her like studying and look researching and looking for answers for his curse mark, but no. In fact, the entire issue with Sasuke, with him leaving and everything, all she does is cry and rely heavily on Naruto, who she pushes to the side and she beats down whenever he ever shows any feelings towards her, which is understandable. It's good when someone is like that towards you and you don't feel that same way to make it clear and they're kids and it kind of built like a sibling kind of weird relationship later on in the story. It's nice. But because she's also like acts like that and on top of the fact that then she's like, oh, but do this for me, it looks bad. It looks bad. It is bad. <laughs> Through tired time, they're looking for Sasuke. I, I, isn't like, if I'm, I might be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure Sakura just sits in the village while Naruto looks for Sasuke, and she relies on nothing but Naruto to do it while she's in the village, and I didn't get that. Like, why? She's a ninja. <laughs> it's dangerous. They're ninjas. I don't understand. <laughs> So I thought that was odd. And again, it's like completely useless until like the last couple episodes of the Naruto series. She starts going and learning and she starts training and learning under Lady Sonate. 
and becomes a medical ninja. And from there, she's become useful. <laughs> and that's when we start into the uh, Naruto Shippuden series. And even then, she doesn't get any major fight scenes. And she repeats under the same cycle of being uh, manipulative and heartless towards the main protagonist, his situation, as being an orphan and outcast and a loner. <laughs> Not a loner so much as, you know, being alone. And it... it it's terrible, and then you're at the end of the series, and she's like, Oh, I finally caught up with them. No, no, no. No, you didn't. You stupid, stupid woman. Honestly, I would have loved it more if Sakura could have acknowledged the fact that she probably could never reach the heights they reach, but she doesn't care, and she's still going to strive and try and aid them in every way she could. It would have been better and more badass to see that than hear her say that one stupid line. Like, this character had potential. But honestly, she just ended up being like a old Disney princess. Can't even sing. <laughs> Falling in love with a prince she doesn't even know. Let's face it. She stayed in the castle, and that just happened to be the Leaf Village. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Well, that's about it for this video. And all I gotta say, I'm done talking about Sakura. And I'm done drawing her. Does the drawing look great? I don't think so. I know I can do better. And with that being said, Savage out. Bye! I am probably going to get so much shit for admitting I was a Sakura fan. But again, I emphasize the used to. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you have something to say, well, obviously put it in the comment section. This is common sense. I like to, you know, say it out loud. I'd love to hear y'all's intake, by the way, um, whether you were once a Sakura fan and died a little inside, or um, if you think this character had potential or not. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. I don't mind. Either way. It's cool. I'm talking to myself in my room to a recorder. Because that's a thing. With that being said, Savage out.